Now, finishing a paragraph is where, again, some get a little stuck on where to go next. But it's basically the point where your argument is either justified or it's expanded. So, if A, you prove your discussion evidence matches the topic sentence in question. Now, this is a, a nice little trick that you can use, which is if you're in an exam and you think like you've written a really, really badly written paragraph and you're aghast at yourself and you're going, oh my God, what did I do? Then what you can do in your final sentence of your paragraph is reread what you've written. And rather than putting a big X for it, like a lot of people do, what you can do is say, okay, I'm gonna pick this, I'm gonna pick this, and I'm gonna say, because this means this, my topic sentence is correct. Now that might not necessarily make it the strongest argument in the world, but what it does do is it allows you to rescue what it is that you've written and to convert those words which are very badly written into words which make some sense. Put all the pieces together basically. Or the other thing you could do is lead into the next main point. And what your next main point is might be something that's related to that point you just made or you might just find that you've got a very convenient point where you can jump to your next one and it just seems to flow like it, it, it almost, they're, they're almost exactly the same. And by doing that, you're coming up with, as I said, a very cohesive argument, which continues to build and evolve the entire way through. But obviously you'll be starting with your main one first, and then you'll be going on and continuing to prove them as you go along with each paragraph that you do. But that's basically it. That's the heart of what you'd be looking for when you're looking at how a paragraph is structured. And it's very important to pay attention to that because the more deliberate you are with your paragraphs and the more you're not just throwing in random things, the better your essays will sound, the better marks you'll get, and the better it will show that you understand the material, even if you ne don't necessarily understand it. And that's a great thing. Great writers of essays can often make up for the fact that they don't really understand much of the text that it is that they're studying or much of the topic that they're, that they're talking about. There'll be enough marks in the technical side of things that you'll actually be able to get a whole heap of marks by not even reading the book, by making things up, by spinning a very good web of, of lies, essentially. And that's basically it. Otherwise, there's not much else really to tell about essay writing, or at least the structure of a paragraph. So until I see you next time, I'll see you later.